What's up, beautiful people? It's Courtney. Welcome back. Today, I'm going to be doing some five minute fun, easy crafts that you could do when you're bored. I also wanted to let you guys know I'm having a giveaway right now for a $200 Visa gift card running until December 25th. And all you have to do to enter is be subscribed to this channel and my vlog channel, which I'll link down below, and also both of my Instagrams. I have my personal one and my slime one. So I'll link all those down below, but definitely make sure to follow the rules because I will be checking before I choose the winner. So it's super easy to enter and it's also gonna enter you into all my future giveaways as well because I usually use all these same rules so definitely make sure to do that and before we get started of course we got our shout out squad of the video if you want to be featured in my next video all you have to do is subscribe and then turn on that little bell to be notified when I upload and then let me know in the comments below and the more creative the comments usually the more likely you are to be featured uh, let's get into this video and all these little crafts I really hope you guys enjoy them if you like these little DIY and craft videos please give it a thumbs up and I will do more of them and let's go ahead and get started. This first DIY is my favorite because I absolutely love heating pads, especially when I get migraines. So all you need is a cute pair of long socks. I'm taking these that I already had and then some dry rice. Definitely make sure you don't cook it. Then you just start putting the rice into your sock. So I find this works easiest just by spooning it in. This is such an easy heating pad DIY. It's like no sew, super simple, and I am obsessed. And again, you can make it short. I'm making mine a little bit on the shorter side like this. Uh, just for my head, which I use it a lot on, but if you want to make it for like your stomach or your back, you could fill the whole sock up. And then just go ahead and tie the sock into a knot. And then I went ahead and cut off the end with scissors. If you want to finish that off nicely by sewing it or however you want to finish it, that's up to you. But I think this looks super cute. I don't know why, like it's not pineapple colors, but it kind of reminds me of a pineapple. On to our next DIY. This one's kind of funny, but super practical and useful, and it's a toothbrush cover. So all you need to do is take your toothbrush and then some parchment paper or wax paper and cut off a little square and wrap it around your toothbrush. So once it's completely wrapped around, you can secure it with a little piece of tape, but you wanna mold this like a actual toothbrush cover kind of in the shape that you want. And then all you have to do is take a hot glue gun and apply hot glue all around it and let it dry and then I'm just kind of using the nozzle of my hot glue to smooth it out some. This hot glue gun has seen better days so I'm in the need of a new one but you get the picture. So once it's totally dry you could go ahead and slide it off your toothbrush and then pull the parchment paper and it'll come right out like super easy and then you could clean up the bottom or anything you missed with some scissors but now you have a toothbrush cover it which works great for traveling. This next DIY is for bouncy balls and I think this one's super fun. It gives me slime vibes because it's very similar, but all you need is a half a cup of warm water and a tablespoon of borax. So we're making a really strong borax mixture. And then in a separate bowl, we're gonna use a tablespoon of cornstarch and two tablespoons of glue, and then go ahead and combine those together. And here's where you could add in any kind of food coloring as well. So then I'm adding some hot pink, it, will, it turned out not so hot, hot pink with the glue and stuff, but it's a bright pink uh, food coloring. And then I'm just mixing it all together. And then you wanna pour it into that mixture. Now, since the borax mixture is so strong, this like is not gonna be sticky at all. It'll combine and form into like a bouncy ball texture really really fast it's super cool so you want to dunk it in for about 10 seconds and then knead it with your hands because the inside parts could still be a little sticky and then stick it back into that for another 10 seconds or so and take it out and then you could start to like squeeze out the water and kind of mold it into a ball so now I'm just like rolling it in my hands and it forms a really cool bouncy ball like it doesn't lose its shape at all and it bounces which is the best part it's super cool and super fun to play with just make sure to store it in a sealed container when you're done now we have a phone undie what the heck is that you're about to find out so all you need to do is take your hot glue gun again and on a piece of parchment paper go ahead and fill in a square again as you can see this mini glue gun just isn't cutting it so it took me forever but if you have a full-size glue gun you'll be in good shape so once it's completely dry you want to peel it off and now we're gonna draw out two sides of our underwear <laughs> so I'm just doing like this underwear shape 
and I'm making two of them, one for the front and one for the back. And then after that, all you need to do is draw a long rectangle and that's going to kind of be the pieces that seal them together. So then I'm just going to cut out all of those pieces like so, do do do, cut, cut, cut. And then with that long strip, I'm gonna cut it into three pieces and I'm gonna have some left over. You just need like three pretty small pieces, so. Just cut those off and that's what you're gonna use in the middle of the underwear and on the sides to combine those two pieces together with some more hot glue. So once you put that all together, then all you have to do is decorate it however you want. I'm just doing some purple polka dots all over it. And then you could just slide it on to the bottom of your phone. I think this is super funny, but it was pretty fun to make. And I don't know, I just think it's really funny. I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, this last DIY is like a DIY slash science experiment. It's pretty cool. So all you need is two cups of water and in one of them I'm going to add some blue food coloring and this is gonna act as our rain. Now we're gonna make a cloud in the other one with some shaving foam. So this is going to act like our cloud and then all you need is a syringe and you're gonna drip it over it. So this is a really cool like science experiment that shows like how clouds hold the water and how, what causes rain. So eventually the cloud has too much water and it starts to come out. As you could see, it'll pour all through that um, like white part of the shaving foam and it will go into the water. So and that is how rain happens in short form. All right, so what DIY are you gonna be doing when you're bored? Let me know in the comments below which one was your favorite. And if you missed my last videos, all you have to do is click right on over here. And also don't forget to click that subscribe button and enter my giveaway because you don't wanna miss out. I'll be having a ton more giveaways too if you don't win this one. So make sure to enter and I will talk to you guys very soon. Bye.